Politicians and other assorted bureaucratic busybodies now often care more about animals than they do about people. Here's another example from a seemingly unrelated policy area. This is a group photo of a crossbench alliance who are opposed to shark nets being installed at popular beaches in Sydney, Newcastle and Wollongong this summer. I reached out to a bunch of these people to discuss this topic, including Emma Hurst of the Animal Justice Party, seen here in the pink jacket taking, taking centre stage. I also contacted the Department of Primary Industries requesting an interview with Chief Shark Researcher Vic Pettimores. I've been writing about this topic for seven years now and over that time have probably requested an interview with Pettimores half a dozen times without success. I also contacted Sean Doherty, the National Chairman of the Surfrider Foundation and one of the finest Australian surf journalists of the past couple of decades. After initially agreeing to come on the show, he failed to reply to subsequent messages. Doherty's reticence is particularly pertinent now because only last week there was yet another attack on a surfer. Tony Begg, a 44-year-old father of two kids, was almost killed by a four-metre great white while surfing at Port Macquarie last week and will suffer life-changing injuries. I've been arguing for policies that will end this carnage for years, but political and general community consensus seems to be going the other way. Attacks on surfers and swimmers have become commonplace as protection of sharks has increased and measures to effectively protect humans have decreased. 